right where they started, back on the streets. We know that last week, the city mounted giant metal bars on every seating surface in Center City Park, making the park not only hideous, but a living testament to this town's shameful priorities. This is an obscene level of heartlessness, even for this council. Congratulations on turning the center of downtown into a monument to the inhumanity that defines this government. How much did it cost to erect those public displays of cruelty? How long have you been planning this exhibition of evil? How far are you going to go to make the lives of your unsheltered neighbors harder? Talk about need to hear brutal honesty, Mayor Vaughn. Every single council member should be embarrassed to call themselves our representatives. As long as those bars are there, those disgraceful monuments to this government's warped priorities, we know every word you utter about caring for houseless people is a blatant lie. The park is public space for the public, which whether you like it or not, includes those who can't afford your amenities that you pour our tax dollars into. Do you think you can simply disappear people by making it harder for them to exist in public space? Councils in other cities have actually enacted laws banning this kind of hostile architecture, but I know better than to even suggest that. Not only because y'all wouldn't have the backbone to support meaningful help for houseless people, and not only because you don't really care, but because there's no meaningful policy change that will resolve the fundamental problem. Because the problem is capitalism. It is the commodification of everything, of space, of labor, of time, of people's lives, and the devaluation of human beings that results. To cite a quote from over a century ago that is still very relevant, bourgeois society stands at the crossroads, either transition to socialism or regression into barbarism. We are clearly regressing into barbarism. The solution is to untether profit from lives and all things necessary for life. We need to destroy this antisocial economy and build a pro-social one, a socialist one. And that is also one in which we will not need police. Thank you.